Christy Petrullo with IPO Wines, sitting here with Gavin Shannon of Shannon and Ludum Wines. Welcome, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you for having me. Gavin has worked uh, with us for the last three days in New York, and uh, we wanted to just ask him a little bit about some of his wines. So please first, tell us how you got started in the wine industry. I got started in 2004 with a Bon Coupe. I um, had graduated high school and I was headed to UCLA to study painting and I wanted to get out of town. So um, my plan was to go to Alaska and do the salmon fishing season, which my mom was horrified about and she said we should go to Santa Barbara and make wine. And I didn't really realize at the time that there were wineries in Santa Barbara. So I had an opportunity to work for a Bon Coupe, two of the oldest producers in Santa Barbara. And I went up as a volunteer um, guest intern, basically, um, and fell in love with it. We worked, it was a 2004 harvest, so it was hot. We worked every single day, and then I went back to UCLA and fought really hard to come back and intern again, and ended up working there for eight years and finishing as our assistant winemaker. So did you ever go to school to make wine? No, I, um, I thought about transferring at one point, but I never, I never did. I studied uh, painting at UCLA. And I, um, I also traveled. I worked in South Africa. Before starting Shannon Wine Company, I took a year off school and worked in South Africa and New Zealand, and then traveled through Burgundy and Europe and came home and started Shannon. And that was in 2007? Yeah, that was 2007. You, am I correct, you make all of the, or you draw all of the labels? Yeah, so when I first started thinking about what it would be like to start a small winery, um, obviously you start thinking about the label and the name, which um, for some reason, it took us three years to come up with. Where'd you get Shannon? It's my last <laughs> name. <laughs> it was a long, painful process coming up with the name. Um, we had the wines, we had the vineyards, we had everything except the name for a very long time. And uh, it was in the beginning, it was kind of a competing. They were competing interests: painting and wine. And I would work in the winery for five months, then I'd go to school for seven months. Um, and I found a way to skip, I convinced you to like, let me skip fall quarter every year and add summer school so I could work a much longer time at the winery. Um, and so the painting was kind of a way for me to combine the two interests, and our wines really handmade. It was kind of a, something we're really passionate about, so it connects to art in that way. Nice. Can you tell us a little bit about Ludum? Yeah, Ludum is a company... Um, that I started with a partner, Bill Price, in 2011. Um, Bill is a Sonoma expert, and at the time I had worked uh, almost 10 years in Santa Barbara. And um, we met at a tasting, and he liked my wines, and he was curious to see what his vineyard, Durrell Vineyard, um, would taste like in a more, in kind of a style of wine that I was known for making, which was a little more restrained mm -hmm. um, style, of, style of wine. So he sent down two bins of Durrell Vineyard, which is kind of amazing considering how famous those grapes right. are. And we made uh, four barrels of wine, and then we also did five barrels of La Mancada from San Diego Hills. And him and I just talking and being passionate about vineyards, somehow that little experiment turned into a full-blown winery in Mount Oak about nine months later. So it's kind of a whirlwind right. partnership. That's amazing that it took that little amount of time to get started. Yeah, yeah, as far as winery startup goes, it was pretty amazing. And Bill and I got to know each other very well during that process. So it's probably the longest um, partnership or job being a meal in the history of the wine business. But um, it was great. And Ludum, again, we had kind of in the same style of Shannon, we knew exactly what we wanted to do um, long before we branded the company, which I think is important because we had a passion for the vineyard, we had a passion for the wine. And Bill and I realized that what really kind of drove us together was our passion for all these unique okay. sites. So Luda means, uh, is Latin for soil or dirt. So it kind of, it's a reflection of what we're looking for, which is really unique, special soils in California. Perfect. And is, what grapes do you make with both Chenin and Luda? We, um, Luda is, is primarily Pinot, and we do a little bit of Chardonnay. And uh, Chenin is about 50-50 Pinot and Chardonnay. Okay. Um, so the winery is very focused. We do, my, my idea is to do one thing, or do a couple things, and do them very well, rather than try to, to do everything that the wine world has to offer. Now when you're drinking wine, uh, not your own, mm -hmm. what do you choose if not Pinot Noir? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, I drink wines from all over, but I think the common thread, no matter what it is, whether it's small producer burgundy or 
um, wines that are kind of the opposite spectrum from Bordeaux or Napa is wines that have people behind them that, that have passion and have a distinct style and a distinct goal. Mm -hmm. I think um, that kind of shines through and also a respect for the vineyards. And, um, to me, that, that passion and that life that you can see in wine is what kind of drives me to it. So the answer is basically everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming and try Chen and Rudum. Thank you.